You're sure you've heard of the big guys, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, and so on. But believe it or not, there are a handful of video game consoles that never got the spotlight. And when you see them, you'll get a pretty big idea why. Here are five video game consoles that you probably haven't heard of. The Cassette Vision. Looking to game with a friend? Well, get comfortable because in order to do so, you'll have to sit side by side with your partner. Reason for that being is the controllers are actually attached to the console, meaning that you'll have to hold the entire console together or have it placed in between the both of you in order to have the experience. So you really gotta do your best not to get frustrated while gaming on this one. This console, made by Epic Co. in Japan, was created in 1981. The console was sold for about 13,500 yen, or about 132 US dollars at the time, and was sold in both Japan and Europe. While being known around Japan quite well, it didn't get much exposure in Europe or the US. The KFC console. Wait. That KFC? Yup. One of the most popular fried chicken restaurants in the United States is setting its foot into the gaming realm. Don't worry, we're just as surprised. In June of 2020, KFC came out with the announcement that they will be giving more than just delicious food in the future. During the announcement, this console received more than 11 million views. And once people saw this, they shrugged it off as a hoax but KFC has let us know that they definitely intend on bringing it to the market. And wait until you get a hold of what it can do. Because KFC knows how much you love their chicken, they decided to throw in a chicken heating chamber that will keep your KFC nice and warm while gaming, along with a cooling system that will prevent the system from overheating. KFC even cracked a few jokes and said if Microsoft or Sony wants any tips, they're welcome to come and ask. If this is already too hard to believe, KFC also said their console will have top-of-the-line specs and insane capabilities, all while keeping your chicken wings warm. While KFC has yet to provide a release date or price, they are eager to enter this competitive console war in the future. It's finger licking good. The N-Gage. Created in 2003 by Nokia, the N-Gage is half and half gaming console that's also a cell phone. If you're familiar with video games, you kind of see the resemblance of this handheld to Nintendo's Game Boy Advance. Main reason for this is due to Nokia taking a shot at competing with Nintendo's handheld. And during this head-to-head -head battle, fortunately the N-Gage had no shot. Some of the issues that took this console out of the competition were its buttons, along with a few others. If you notice, the buttons on this console are primarily used for the functions of a telephone, and aren't exactly fitted for gaming. This issue, along with its shape, made it widely criticized by consumers. Users even started to call the phone the Taco Phone. But out of everything that didn't go well for this console, the biggest issue, by far, was in order to change the game you were playing, you needed to remove the phone's cover, battery, and then access the video game slot from there, which was a huge hassle and caused this console to flop. The N-Gage called it quits a couple of years after launch in 2005, providing no match for Nintendo's Game Boy Advance. <laughs> the Telstar Arcade When you visit an arcade, you typically see all kinds of video games. Racing games, shooting games, platformers, and more. Well, the creators of the Telstar Arcade said, well, why not just jam them all into one box? Created by Coleco in 1976 is the Telstar Arcade. As you can see, it is shaped triangular and has a different controller on each angle. A steering wheel on one side, a pistol on one, and a unit designed for Pong on the last. The games that were designed for this triangular gaming system all came in the form of a cartridge. And while you might expect this system to have plenty of options due to its wide selection of controller options, this is far from the case. The console has had four gaming cartridges created for it in its lifetime. Yep, only four. 
But on the bright side, each cartridge featured a video game for each style of controller on the console. Once this console launched, things went swell for a little bit, but customers began to get frustrated with having to rotate the console around, and figured it was too much effort just to enjoy your everyday video game. The Apple Pippin. When you take a first look at this console, you would be surprised that a console like this came from the Apple we all know and love. Typically, we're all used to seeing Apple's compact devices like the iPhone, the iPad, the Apple Watch, and etc. But in 1996, Apple came out with this bulky device. The Pippin was named after the Newton Pippin, which happens to be a type of apple that was discovered between the 17th and 18th century. But besides that point, this device was actually a hybrid device and was sold to consumers as a computer, but didn't have a keyboard. Instead, it came with an Apple Jack controller. When it was released in the United States back in 1976 for the price of $599, things didn't go too hot. The price of the console was pretty steep compared to the PlayStation, and it came out with fewer than 25 games. Therefore, it simply could not compete with its competitor. Apple decided to slash the project the next year and move on from the loss.